Okay, so continuing today, it seems like ethics is a really important issue at the National Association of Hispanic Journalists. I just came from a Twitter session where we talked about a similar issue. And I'm here with Kenny Irby. He is a professor at the Pointer Institute. It's a journalism school in St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, Kenny, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Okay, sure. Um, hello, group. I am um, a senior faculty member at the Pointer Institute, which is a journalism school based in St. Petersburg, Florida, um, where I've been employed this month for 16 years. I founded the uh, sports, well, actually, I, I founded the, um, the photography program at the Pointer Institute. Uh, in 1995 and then became uh, the visual journalism group leader in 1999 and since 2001 I've been uh, in the role of uh, senior faculty for diversity and uh, working with the diversity projects and uh, teaching and ethical decision making and uh, ethical uh, integration for visual journalists. So today's session was about uh, does speed trump truth? Mm -hmm. And uh, as all of our bloggers know and tweeters and, and people who broadcast uh, in short spurts in social media that we tend to jump the gun and post things that we don't necessarily check. So for my bloggers out there, you know, we are commonly known as the fifth estate and we've opened up a whole world of citizen publishing. So Kenny, can you tell us, just give us a, some thoughts on um, how ethical standards uh, should or should not apply uh, to everyone who's out there self-publishing and um, getting the word out on things? Well, I think, yeah, uh, for sure that one of the great hallmarks of, of journalistic reporting or at, is accuracy. Um, and so because you can publish instantaneously, um, through digital devices and mobile devices doesn't mean you should. You know, so the technology um, should not supersede the intent and the purpose of accurate, truthful representation, especially when you're dealing with the lives of individuals uh, in complicated uh, situations. Uh, there are lots of blogs that are edited blogs uh, that are not instantaneous because the blog, the blogging reality is it's the publishing platform. It is not. Uh, it is not the publication um, or the individuals. Um, it's a tool. It's a form of technology uh, that should be managed and governed and uh, directed by individuals. And so we teach ethical decision making as a skill, uh, as a, a practice that needs to be uh, applied on a daily basis and not situational. Uh, so, you know, in, when you can validate um, and verify information. I think that's always important to move beyond a one source verification issue when you're dealing with, uh, you know, very important content that deal with life and liberty um, and individuals. Uh, so, you know, our guidelines, you know, simply uh, reinforce that you ask good questions um, and that you consider the, the importance of uh, truth telling as a hallmark of, of credible journalism or credible reporting, um, independence, um, that you're not being forced to make decisions um, that uh, would impede on your or deter on your credibility, um, and that you think about minimizing harm. And when, when you put minimizing harm and compassion as a value, uh, it does force you to pause to make uh, more complete and more accurate decisions. Some great points there, and um, earlier you made a kind of funny comment about Wiener, and uh, you said, well, you know, he's a dumb person with a smartphone. No, that's not, that was not the quote. I okay, said, dumb. I let's said, verify I that. Said, I said um, <laughs> people do, people do, are prone more uh, today to do dumb things with smartphones. And that's, thank you for, and I'm glad I asked you, see, I'm practicing my ethics there right here. Uh, it's, it's a great point, you know, we're still human beings who, uh, even if we have this technology, we still have to treat the things that we write about just like we would people in real life situations. We wouldn't say something insulting to someone's face if we felt that that was inappropriate and, um, you know, we should treat our blogs or our writing the same way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I agree wholeheartedly. Well, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Bye-bye.